I'm taking the work experience with me and hopefully the um, experience that will help me in college and hopefully get into a college if I want, especially with this kind of career. With a new look, new stories, new cast, and with more randomness than ever, watch Bass City Beat, the new season. Hi, I'm Tierney Smith for Bass City Beat, and we're here at WWJ to be interviewed by Greg Bowman, a radio personality, and also get a behind-the-scenes look of the radio world. Well, what time is it now? <laughs> uh, I've been on the air, I've been at WWJ since 1990. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I became aware of Bath City Beat just from a, a press release that was sent to me by one of your, I guess, faculty advisors. And then I was provided a copy of your DVD and I got a chance to watch what you did during Super Bowl week. And, and I, I was very impressed. I was knocked out. And, you know, the editing and the production and the professionalism and everybody really looked like they were having a good time. And I, I'm an anchor here. I, I do the midday show, but I also do a segment called Making a Grade. And it's, a, it's an educational piece that we run Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it tries to look at what's really going on at, in the schools around the Metro Detroit area. I think it's really important that I, you know, try to get on stuff that people don't see in the front page. Because unfortunately, when people think about school stories, it's usually schools are closing, teachers are being laid off. You know, some kid made a threat at the school. There's, you know, something bad, usually. And so I try to look at maybe something that's more positive. It doesn't have to be, you know, Pollyanna kind of positive thing. But if there's a kid who's got a perfect SAT score, I mean, I think that's interesting. It's not going to get them on the first page. If there are students who are working in their community, if there are things, you know, extracurricular activities, or students who are doing exceptional things like, like you guys are doing, I think it's important that people know about that and know that, you know, teenagers aren't necessarily just slackers sitting on their butts playing, you know, Grand Theft Auto, that, that you're doing other stuff. Uh, Jackie, first, uh, tell me who you are. My name is Jackie Foisey, and I'm a reporter for Bass City Beat from Mount Clemens High School. And you're a senior. I am. So, um, what about you? I mean, uh, when you're a sophomore, then uh, you get no respect, and you have to do the, the jobs that the, the, the high... <laughs> Profile anchors don't want to do that kind of thing. You it have gets, to earn your respect. We get started off with the easier stories so we can progress as reporters and producers. Has it been what you'd expected? Has it been better? Oh, well, yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't really want to do it at first because I, I don't, like, being in front of a camera kind of scared me. Yeah. But after I started doing it, like, it was really cool. So you, you've expanded, I mean, have you expanded? It's on a bigger uh, cable network now? or do you, I mean, how, how many people are watching it, do you know? Yeah. Um, we recently expanded. In Mount Clemens, the show reaches, I think it's 4,500 4, um, houses, and now we're reaching over 150,000. So we've expanded a lot. I'm taking the work experience with me, and hopefully the... Um, experience that will help me in college and hopefully get into a college if I want, especially with this kind of career. Okay. You get the last word. It probably wasn't a very good question.
you know, I tell people I've always been a chatty kind of person, so I knew I wanted to do something where I got to talk, got to communicate. And there are a limited number of jobs where you get to do that. But I, I like to tell stories. I always tell people at schools, if you're the one who, like, tells stories about other people and gossips and, hey, did you hear about what happened to so-and-so, that you probably will end up being a, a reporter. For young people who are interested in, in breaking into broadcasting, because more and more stations are now a part of networks, you know, you, you, you hear syndicated programming. I would recommend you get into your local cable TV system, the, uh, the public access end of it. I think that if you do that, you have to accept the fact that you're not going to make any money, but this gives you a great grounding, and in, in, in matter of fact, you'll be learning things that most people pay thousands of dollars to learn from the, from the technical end. It's great to have big dreams, but kind of start small. You know, a, a lot of us working here worked in Toledo. We worked in Traverse City. We went to small markets and, um, you know, worked our way up. The great secret of broadcasting is that if you have the knack for it, it is really quite easy. And some days I actually marvel that I'm leaving pay to just go on the radio and talk. The more you learn, the better, the earlier you can learn the better. In, in college, I mean, there will be more expectations probably on you. There will be, you know, it will be tougher in some ways, but, but you're learning now some of the same stuff that you will learn in college. So I think it'll help you because, again, just like with the career thing I mentioned, you're, you're getting a big head start. You definitely have to learn how to speak the language, how to use the language of English, thinking on your feet, debate forensics good preparation for this kind of thing. But the most important advice of all, regardless of what your formal study is, is to read old-fashioned, low-tech books. Why? Because reading makes you a good writer. You absorb excellent writing through osmosis, filter it through your own voice, your own personality, it then emerges. Well, from the entire staff of Bassity Beat, we want to thank Greg Bowman for allowing us to see his world of radio. For Bassity Beat, I'm Tierney Smith. Making the grade on double students at Mount Clemens High School when it comes to covering their community on the Bath City Beat, a 30-minute cable TV news program now seen in 150,000 homes in Macomb and St. Clair counties. The pub crawl and chili cook-off was a touchdown with Mount Clemens. For Bass City Beat, I'm Tierney Smith. I've had little girls come up to me in drugstores and say, oh my God, I've seen you on TV before, and I've had elderly people come up to me and say, I love the show, you guys do a good job. Tierney Smith, a Mount Clemens High School senior, is one of the reporters on the program. Bath City TV reporter Jackie Foisey, also a senior, says the show has brought them some recognition in the community. We get recognized by people when we're walking around or out in public. It's kind of fun because people will be like, oh, you're Jackie Foisey. This is the first year on Bath City Beat for sophomore Jessica Winmacher. I didn't really want to do it at first because I just, I don't, like being in front of a camera kind of scared me. But after I started doing it, like, it was really cool. And sophomore Melanie Gerald says they cover a variety of stories ranging from Super Bowl parties to an ice show and a chili cook-off. We get started off with the easier stories so we can progress as reporters and producers. And Tierney Smith has big dreams for her future broadcasting career. I want to be in New York. I want to be at a national station, a news anchor. I want to go all the way. For Making the Grade, I'm Greg Bowman.